Hi everybody, Creative Katie Karen Virtual here. Today I have a mixed media tutorial. This is on an MDF board, 11 by 14, but you could do it on an art journal page as well. Some of the footage was lost, but basically I took scrapbook papers that were vintage, that were gifted to me from Barbara. Thank you so much. Stay safe. And I ripped them up and I applied them onto the 11 by 14 MDF board. That's a piece of deli paper that I used with a mark making tool. So I glued them down with matte medium. There's the mark making tool. It is a sink liner. So once I had that, I had also done some stenciling and I am going to use that lovely angel that's on rice paper and I'm looking to it for the colors in the background. So in the background, I've put modeling paste through the quadrifoil stencil and the petal burst stencil. And now I am using the layered wallpaper stencil, one of my favorites, to put down some color. So I want to bring out that red and I want to bring out the teal that was in the angel. It's already in some of those background papers that I collaged as the first layer. So here I'm just putting down those colors and it's looking very stark. But remember, this is just a layer. These are the colors that are going to pop up to tie in that rice paper angel that I'm going to cut, cut out of that beautiful Stamperia, um, I'm not sure if that's how you say it, rice paper. And that rice paper was provided by Ninny's Napkins and you can check uh, in the description box for an affiliate link. Uh, she now carries TCW stencils as well as some these this lovely rice paper and napkins. So go and check out her site. She's got some great shipping rates. So now I wanted a little bit more color. I wasn't sure how this was going to progress. So I'm just taking the colors and blending it in. And it looks very bright and vivid and not at all vintage. But relax, it will be. Just putting some in, taking some off, and playing with it. But I want some of that color and I want it to look like faded old wallpaper with um the modeling paste that I put through the stencils you, we have texture we have pattern the the scrapbook paper pages are peeking through you can still see some of that it's every little bit and that's the great thing about mixed media it's all about those layers so I'm testing out my angel seeing how the colors look because I really want to give her a great place to land. So now I'm taking burnt umber and golden glazing medium, and I'm mixing that up and I'm painting over top of this. Now this is gonna knock back those colors. It's gonna dull them down and turn it all lovely vintage vibe. And as you can see, that's exactly what it's doing. And I go back and forth and I add more and I take off and it's this little bit of a dance that you do till you get the look and depth of color that you want. And this glazing medium and the color is catching in the nooks and the crannies of the modeling paste. Now here's the uh, sink liner a smaller piece and I'm using it as a stamp. I need some contrast. So I'm stamping right on there and I am perfectly happy. Remember, I want this to look vintage, torn wallpaper kind of look. I'm thrilled that I'm not getting precise, exact, complete prints. In fact, I just, I love this mark making tool. I've used it on my gel plate. I've used it to stamp on deli papers that I put on the first layer and I've used it here. And if you see a few more of my videos coming up, you're gonna see even more uses from this sink liner. Great $3 per investment. So I'm adding that and I like how the black has added to it. Now I've got some shelf liner, another favorite mark making tool, 
and I'm adding that to the background as well. Now this background, I mentioned my friend Barbara who gifted me the scrapbook paper. I created this while we were doing having a create date across the miles during this time. So now I'm just edging it. The sides of the MDF board, this is three quarter inch MDF, the sides have been painted black. I'm just rubbing the makeup sponge lightly over top of the textured areas. I just want it to catch and bring out some of that lovely texture. Now this sat for a couple days and I was afraid that it was too dark so I needed a little more contrast so I'm adding white. You guessed it with the same sink liner my beautiful mark making tool I'm just painting on. I believe this is just white gesso instead of white paint, but you could use white paint and putting it on. And it's just lightening the base and adding, oh, this just made me happy. So testing this out, the angel, I know I'm gonna put the angel in the middle. I did avoid putting any texture in the middle where the words are going to go. So there's the rice paper and I cut it out and now I'm trying, I don't, because the rice paper is going to go a little bit transparent, I want to make sure that the colors stay bright. So I'm putting a light wash of white underneath it, wherever the angel is going to be glued down. because I was afraid that if I put it on such a dark background, it was gonna be too dull. And I did want to bring her out. So now I'm just gluing her down with Liquitex Fluid Matte Medium. And I love, this is the first time I've used rice paper, and I love how this went down. It is so much more durable than napkins. And so, so easy to work with. So please go to Ninny's Napkins, um, the affiliate links there and check out, she's got so many gorgeous rice papers. So I was very happy because the colors really did pop. Once I put that matte medium, it just came even more to life. So my letters, I decided to go up in size of letters and I stamp them on paper first, cut it out, get the placement all figured out. And now I'm taking these wooden letter blocks and pressing it into black acrylic paint that I have on my glass mat that I've kind of put a thin layer on and then I'm stamping where I want it to be and I'm not trying to get it perfectly level and all precise I'm absolutely loving the look of those letters on that background now remember I did remember that I wanted to put the sentiment here and I knew I was going to pretty much stamp it. So I avoided putting anything too texturized there, but it's not perfectly smooth because we have all those collage papers from the beginning. And the saying that goes with it, we are all winging it. That's what angels do. I just, when I went in on a search for quote and I found this one, it was like, yes, that is absolutely perfect. I'd never heard of that before but it was absolutely perfect. So once it was all done, I grabbed my liner brush and black acrylic paint with I thinned down, and then I just touched up to make it a little bit more bold. I really wanted the letters to be very um, readable. The stamping was okay. That was just a personal choice but if you want it darker a little more precise or some don't stamp as well as others this is what you can do
Now I am going to make this angel pop even more. And I'm using my angle brush, the black acrylic paint, and I'm using the floating acrylic shading technique. And you'll notice as I do this, how that angel is just getting a little bit more presence on this um, board. And I'm even going in where the pattern is. I'm changing or tweaking what the artist has already done. I mean, it's a beautiful, beautiful print. I'm just pumping it up a little bit more to fit now that it has the background. I needed some more of this black. Some of it kind of got lost. And I'm just adding some back. Then I stamp it with gold as well because, well, I'm, I'm me. And then I'm splattering with thinned gold acrylic paint. And I use my fan brush for that. At first, I try to avoid the angel but then I just put it all over and it just ties everything together and you just get that little bit of shimmer that just bumps it up. Again, one more layer. I'm absolutely in love with this panel. It is so perfect. I love angels anyways. I love the quote. I love how the background turned out. And I hope you like it as much as I do. Thank you so much for watching. Please go to Instagram and follow me at Creative Katie. Here's some close-ups of the finish. This one is on a plate rack that I purchased at Michael's that is perfect for it. There's also a keyhole cut on the back so it can hang on the wall. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye.